So Florida lawmakers are reportedly working on a legal move that would halt the decision to strip Walt Disney World of its unique self-governing status, first made in the aftermath of the mass media company's pushback against the state's recent gender and sexuality laws. Disney came out um, opposed to the Don't Say Gay bill, and it caused this whole big kerfuffle because, you know, Disney had supported a lot of politicians who were, you know, staunchly conservative and were um, anti-trans and LGBT. And um, then they tried to distance themselves when uh, Disney did, when this law came out. Um, and people took that, uh, took offense to that. You know, these, these politicians said, well, um, if Disney's going to oppose us, then we should strip them of their um, self-governing status. Disney worked out this, this interesting deal where they have the right to govern their own municipality that they created there. Um, so it's, they, they, they control everything. They provide their own power and everything. They're, they're, they're completely self-contained and sort of outside of, of a lot of the, not the law of Florida, but they have a lot of rights to, to self-govern. And in a petty move, these politicians um, who thought that Disney was opposing them, um, you know, said, well, we'll just revoke your right to, to self-govern. Florida House voted in April to dissolve the tax exempt status over the company's opposition to DeSantis's law. Uh, don't say, they don't say gay bill. Um, now lawmakers are drafting a legal compromise between Disney and the government, motivated in part by last month's switch in the company's leadership. Former long-term CEO of Disney, Bob Iger, returned to replace his successor, Bob Chapek, on November 20th after the latter was fired by the company board. Chapek and DeSantis went head-to-head -head over the education bill before it was signed into law, but the return of Iger seems to be quelling some of the tension. Chapek screwed up, but Bob Iger doesn't have to own that screw up. Um, Randy Fine of Florida, Florida Republican said, um, author of April's Law Ending Disney's autonomy, autonomous leadership of its Re Reedy Creek property. Um, it's easier to shift policy when you don't have to defend the old policy. So I don't know. I'm I'm not finding in here why this is um, why they've gone forward with this. I guess they just felt that it was um, Bob Chapek that was the the one who was opposing them, and so now that Iger's back, they're they're dropping it and want to reverse. But it'll be interesting to see where that goes.